bond bank uh, is a special type of tissue banking uh, more like uh, blood banking but in india uh, the facility of bond banking is very less uh, at mumbai data memorial uh, center there is a special type of bond bank uh, who, who can provide uh, bone and uh, some ligament uh, and skin also and uh, world best bone bank is at singapore where uh, they are uh, providing all types of tissue that will mainly helps uh, for reconstruction of human body so donate bone and save the limb after blood uh, the bone is the uh, second most commonly transplanted tissue and uh, like kidney transplant like heart transplant like uh, mm, uh, bone is an important uh, tissue we can uh, transplant to our uh, for reconstruction of the limb uh, when we are dealing and uh, adavar this is a adavaric femur we have to uh, do a proper procurement the the name procurement means you have to uh, 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 take uh, this bone from uh, a dead t- body then you have to wash it you have to cut uh, the all ligament uh, and excess muscles all that and you have to fix it uh, by multiple procedure this is called procurement same thing we can get a bone gap in the form and living donor means living donor means suppose one patient undergo neck femur uh, fracture or one patient undergo total knee replacement or total hip replacement hemiarthroplasty so we can get a healthy um, femoral head or uh, after total knee replacement we can get uh, the proximal tibia or distal um, femoral bone cuts that will helps um, as a um, living donor bone cut now uh, regarding the history of bone transplantation uh, job van mackeren uh, is a dutch dutch surgeon first uh, to perform this bone transplantation to repair a skull defect in a soldier with a part of the skull from a dog the first human allograph ever reported Describe a case of a bone transplant in a young male who suffered from osteomyelitis in entire uh, shaft of humerus. Now, uh, the main indication in orthopedics for uh, any type of um, bone band. First indication when uh, recently uh, the revision arthroplasty is a new. Uh, operation which is used to uh, done in multiple failure case like uh, there is a proximal femoral fracture we have to do play after that there is a neck fracture we have done a processes after again and uh, this process is, is in fail and there there is a fracture so this type of um, fracture has a repeated operation has a repeated implantation now after removing this all implant the bone stock will be very less so reconstruction of this um, very um, uh, old cases or very complicated cases the bone stock is the main priority so we can get an uh, in a, in a, uh, standby bone from the bone bank then difficult case of non when uh, uh, um, i already take a class on non union the main principle of non union is debridement of the unhealthy tissue and sclerosis bone so there will be a bone gap after the uh, making a bone gap how we will uh, reconstruct it if we get uh, a good uh, bone bank support then there will be no issue for uh, uh, gap side morbidity and there is some uh, arthrodesis of the knee and spine suppose there is, uh, is um, a, a, a case of loosening of the implant in the knee joint or there is a um, spondylolisthesis uh, in the spine or there is some procedure which need 
and the joint fusion is called arthrodesis during this procedure we can in put um, bone gap over this and it will um, cause a sound ankylosis bony ankylosis so bone gap is um, is needed and um, again i am telling you the bone gap site like iliac crest or anything will um, give you just a limited amount but uh, if we get a bone bank facility that has no limit we can get many man bone gap at a time so, and there will be no hazard for um, gap side morbidity again to uh, treat a typical type of major fracture in uh, um, orthopedic and osteoporotic bone also and when we are dealing with large bone cyst or residual bone tumor defect after a big tumor excision so again i um, give a small division division arthroplasty typical non union arthrodesis typical major primary fracture in or in osteoporotic bone fracture and if we, um, in a case of bone cyst or residual bone defect after a big tumor excision now uh, <coughs> there is another fact is called periposthetic loosening or periposthetic fracture periposthetic fracture and is first classified by vancouver vancouver is an orthopedic surgeon who used to deal with only um, fracture around the processes or implant suppose after giving any type of implant or any type of processes the um, weight bearing axis or weight bearing mechanism at least differ from normal so the proper stress shielding around the um, implant is very mandatory for durability of that implant so bone stock is very important suppose we are dealing with a, in a very positive fracture then uh, you know, when we are uh, applying new implant then the bone stock around this implant must be very strong otherwise this implant also fail so periposthetic fracture needs huge amount of bone gap from where you will get the bone bone bank like complex trauma see this is open fracture and we have lost um, so much of bone so only one option is in, in is iliar but for doing iliar if we in, cut uh, and, and, and this is a defect and for lower limb this uh, uh, this uh, this high and uh, mm, big defect cannot be managed by Iliaro properly. It will take high maximum uh, mm, more time, and we can uh, uh, use masculotelar technique. But this will be very uh, lengthy procedure, no? So we can go for allograft. We can uh, size match allograft. See, this is an uh, upper uh, reconstruction. The patient can allow weight bear early and there is a um, very good chance of union because of this bone gap so there is a list of trauma where we can um, um, give our um, bone um, graph like uh, humerus fracture tbl 2 fracture non union of the clavicle open wedge osteotomy osteotomy of the tibia osteotomy of the femur humerus head fracture non union of and the osteotomy protrusion of the acetabulum commutated elbow fracture tibia fracture calcaneum fracture delayed non-union radius maximum um, huge list of uh, trauma where we need the bone guard now <coughs> last but not the least is bone tumor bone tumor uh, defect and uh, uh, reconstruction is not easy i told you um, regarding the recent advancement of the bone tumor the uh, new newer um, implant like uh, the mega processes this is very well fitted mega process it's okay but after a um, few years there will be abductor large there will be secondary wave changes there will be loosening of this implant so the cha the durability of this metallic implant is not up to the mark and uh, mm, uh, to prevent the infection uh, there is a recent advancement uh, the implant has been coated with silver 
that will prevent uh, the infection but in the long term and uh, we used to get that uh, there is multiple chance of infection in uh, the megaposis and failure uh, in that case if we go for allograft or if we go for biological reconstruction we will get better outcome and, and no need uh, of uh, revision surgery this is uh, one type of excision of the proximal tibia and this is the allograft with the bone tendon junction if we, we can put it and uh, suture all the ligament with this residual um, femur and if you put a plate or nail over here this one can allow it bearing up to two three days now uh, bone bank and, uh, is a huge industry like uh, 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 like in program uh, it needs some organization and donors selection and documentation storage and processment and procurement and implementation so in organizing team uh, there uh, is consist of the theater nurse a medical microbiologist a anatomist um, and pathologist along with and uh, some uh, chemical chemical analysis and some hematological lab technician and some trainer who will train uh, our staff um, and uh, they will take the responsibility of all in the procurement of the um, bone tumor and uh, process and uh, he will teach the all employee and <laughs> donor selection and uh, the process uh, is very important we have to uh, check uh, his serology we have to um, take a good documentation and uh, uh, and uh, best uh, is uh, living donor this living donor and uh, because uh, uh, whole kolkata per day at this uh, 50 knee transplant is going on or um, uh, average 40 to 50 hip transplant is go, go, going on so if we gather all um, uh, the hum um, living human bone in a specialized center we can get a huge amount of bone gun. no need to go, go for cadaveric dissection and uh, sometimes we used to get max um, um, amputation patient or a traumatic amputation at our emergency so we have to inform our working resident or yes uh, to uh, get uh, um, the information about the amputation uh, so we can use uh, that healthy bone and we can transfer it to our bone bank and uh, there uh, and uh, the re regarding the cadaver dissection that needs a very um, special environment and pp and dress and to prevent infection um, yeah, because uh, this uh, bone has a high chance uh, or allograft has a high chance of infection so we are um, uh, very cautious about hiv and hepatitis, uh, hepatitis C, hepatitis B, um, and along with syphilis also. And after the procurement and uh, the measurement on uh, of uh, this uh, bone graft and documentation is very important for uh, the bone banking. And we need some equipment like electric refrigerator like stainless steel band saw like shake bath orbital shaker lipolizer vacuum cellar oven laminar airflow machine and liquid carbon dioxide machine for backup so uh, the, that will the cost around three crores now uh, regarding the storage and processing uh, all the material will after proper washing and and lipolyzer um, drying uh, it will packed uh, with the three layer technique uh, for linen then a uh, polythene then again linen and it will wrapped with a sterile um, 
non water absorbable um, pack and um, for small gaft uh, that will put double jar technique this is the inner jar this is the outer jar and uh, that will send uh, uh, sometimes and if uh, we get a small uh, gaft that will uh, go for gamma radiation or if we we'll, uh, give a big uh, bone like fibula like fema tibia that will be undergo lipolization technique lipolization means there is a procedure where the uh, uh, water uh, or blood or everything um, will be sucked uh, or uh, dried up by uh, a machine and whole the bone will be uh, kept uh, or preserved this is called lipolyzer te technique the processing of the bone uh, bank is very important uh, among this uh, processing uh, there is a fresh uh, mm, uh, 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 during the processing we need uh, one special uh, fojar uh, machine and refrigerator and uh, uh, all uh, the stuff will will be covered by uh, a pp kit and, and uh, this is the arthroplasty uh, shape, uh, shape bone this is the fresh femoral head and that uh, is, uh, has been carted in multiple sizes this is the tkr bone graft i am talking about the living donor and sterilization method is very important for um, uh, the bone banking because uh, we have um, uh, we, we all know the infection of allograft is an issue so uh, the sterilization procedure most commonly done by gamma radiation and uh, carbon dioxide and uh, radiation and, and carbon dioxide backup is also uh, done um, but the gamma radiation is the most common procedure but um, the documentation of every bone bank sample is very important because for medical legal purposes and there is some problem to make a bone bank one is ethical clearance second is dedicated manpower third is capital for whole project near about three crores three and a half crores and proper uh, quality control and maintenance the quality control and maintenance is the main drawback for an uh, any institution to uh, to maintain um, the uh, bone bone uh, graft quality so we are uh, in new hope for make a bone bank in our medical college hopefully uh, after new um, regional cancer center will uh, develop we can get this bone bank facility at our medical college also, Kolkata also. Thank you.